Gracia is one of the 10 barangays in Taguluan, Misamis Oriental, which is located nearby the sea. This place went through a lot of names. It was before known as Kugun because of its thick Kugun grass. Other called the Et Bunsud, derived from a fish trap that was introduced by Latanios, and some other called it Kibulda. But after all, the place was called Gracia. So where does this word came from? What does it mean? And who named it? So if you want to know more, stay tuned and we'll travel going back to Gracia's history. Decades ago, there were only four families who lived in this place. They were Petronello Sarandonan, Maximo Zuylon, Oresha Kii, and Felicetas Kii. Years after, they added by the families of Thomas Cabuno, Oton Asenero, Antolio Rauto, Dionesio Alaba, Isedro Cabaraban, and Facunda Fabella. But before, this place has no source of fresh water supply. But not long after Oresha Kii, an old villager discovered a very small source of fresh water behind the coconut tree. She spread the news and with other person, they dug out the source. And screamed, Gracia Sadius! And their problem was solved. They then claimed such event as grace from God. And for many years, that small source of water supplied the needs of the people. In 1927, a family named Alipio Bandibas, first from Leyte, arrived in this place. He was with his companions named Francisco Ordiz, Pablo Magnase, and Francisco Bandibas, who were all Litenios that migrated in this place to work in the Philippine Packing Corporation who introduced fishing industries such as Bunsod, Lapad, Tinagala, and Sinsoro. But time came during the World War II when Japanese Empire wants to colonize Philippines that had been first controlled by the Americans. Japanese attacked every corner of the Philippines and rich in this place, which by before do not still have a fixed name. So here comes the guerrilla troops, who was composed of Filipino army and civilians who helped each other to fight the Japanese and defended our beloved country. They successfully defeated the Japanese troops and finally were freed from the cruelty of Japanese empire. As a result, the seashores was dotted with Japanese Bay, where their source of water was nearly located. So people came the liberation and they did not dare to relig it. Instead, they dug out wells near their houses. Some of these are located 5 to 10 meters away from the sea. And even if it is high tide or low tide, the water remains tasteless and colorless. So after the liberation, it was during May 21, 1946, the people agreed to give the place a fixed name. Along with Mr. Daniel Razalo, one of the early settlers suggested to call it Gracia to revive the name that was used by the earliest person. The people liked the name and by then it was officially called Gracia. Just for additional information, one of the assets of Russia is the deep sea port called Kantel, which afforded ships to Angkor, and the production of rice and corn during the Spanish time. The production of copra owned by Mr. and Mrs. Nicomedes Adiser during the American period. Four remarkable events. On July 1940, the first primary classes was opened that were held in a private house. In 1947, the San Vicente Ferrer Chapel was built. Going back to the present! So that's the history of Russia all about.
four concrete sources, videos, and photos were taken during interview. Based and our references. Kalut daw kuno sila sa dapin sa malbay. Kanya pagkalut nila, ilang napuan nga ang tubig dili para sa bang. So, mutong ilang gikuan nga isilbi grasya gikan sa Dios ng anak. Tumukugon na nato ni Day. Tumukugon. Sakto, di ba? Tumukugon. Tumukugon na sa kapagrasyan ay? Ha? Tumukugon na sa kapagrasyan. Oo. Tumukugon na nato. Kututut na mo sa balas kay dabang man. Hindi mo na mong grasya. The written text of Sir John Casinio's history of Barangay Gracia became my main source of this video.